Hey, this is the, oh, there's Jenny's fingers. Finally done. This is the uh, after, oh, here we go. This is the after, the before and after of the Barbie house. And we're done. This is October 31st, Halloween night. Ooh, spooky. And poor Coco spooky. is sitting in the car and we're ready to go. So anyway, um, this is the after, it's all done. It took us about a month and a half and we're dying and we're so sick of it. But yard. we did a good it's job. Anybody's yard. Yep, um, we have a kind of a dying tree right here. We've got some replacements. First thing we started on really was the yard, huh? Uh -huh. huh yeah. And uh, our yard looks great now. I had to fix the sprinkler system completely. Not only the electronics, but the holes in the system. We had to do the rock and the landscaping. It's too dark at night right now to see the uh, to see the backyard, but everything is real nice now. We got a bunch of new plants. We've had them in for over a month, and they're growing extremely well. We're getting buds, some flower buds, and this is October. It's not well. It's almost November first, and we're still and we're getting some nice buds out lemon of the uh, lemon tree. And they have flower too. Yep, but it's okay. it's it's a really nice. The temperature right now is probably 72, 73. It's beautiful right now. So the first thing is the garage. You may remember this. These old appliances which are really not that bad. To tell you the truth, we, we spent $6,000 for new appliances, but uh, we didn't really need them. These are really good appliances. So we need to come in tomorrow with my old truck and haul away the appliances with the trailer. So, and uh, we have a whole bunch of laminate. Didn't use all of it, probably bought 30, 25, 30% too much. We'll keep 10% and then get 500, backs, 500 bucks back from Costco. As you can tell, we did nice satin on the walls and flat on the top. We were gonna do satin everywhere in the garage, but we didn't have enough for, uh, we didn't have enough satin. We barely had enough satin with everything that we bought. We almost spent $2,000 just for paint. $2,500. $2,500 for paint? No. no. Twenty uh, two hundred fifty for the door, uh, for the door. Oh yeah, and then I had to fix it after the guy fixed it. Yeah, he didn't do a good job, but I spent a whole day fixing the garage door. But now the garage door works great. The sprinkler system right there runs great. We need to put these plants in. Tomorrow our renter is moving in, so we thought we'd make this video slightly before we're ready. We probably have two more hours of work ahead of us in this thing. Uh, it's not too bad. Everything is working well. We got the. Uh, you Water heater Just put back. We, we got. It? We opened a whole bunch of junk come out. Remember? Whole bunch of junk came out. We got it cleaned out. We put a new anode rod in there. Stuck it back on the pedestal. Got everything put back together. We got the power washer out here that we did. Oh, maybe I should start with the uh, driveway. That not only did I power wash for a couple of hours, but I know you can't see too much, but you can see a little bit. But I used uh, muriatic acid and kind of etched the pavement because there were so many grease and oil spots. It was hard to get them out. Now the etching will fade over the next couple of months so it'll all match. But to tell you the truth, this looks pretty good compared to the way it looked. And I don't think the HOA is gonna have any complaints. Once those etchings fade, it's gonna be pretty good. Anyway, we're proud of our little Barbie house. Barbie house final. Look at how, oh yeah. The door, if you remember everything, everything was disgusting. It was disgusting. It was the polluted disgusting house. Look, this is still kind of disgusting, honey. We need to get some alcohol and yeah, tomorrow, wipe this that. all off and mm -hmm. you know, make it nice. Here's some of our extras that we had. And we we cleaned it all up. And it was horrible. Bathroom. Walking in, the bathroom looks pretty good. Very, very clean. There's some things we had a hard time with repaired the sink. Look, we have a little drip there. Drip, drip, drip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to replace the gasket in the uh, hot water because I know it wasn't the cold because when we had the hot off. It wasn't, it wasn't dripping. This is the first one. You can see the uh, laminate looks amazing down here. And the fan looks wonderful compared to that horrible fan in the- This is a new hey, fan. they took the fan. Remember I told them they could have that horrible fan? Remember it was on top of the refrigerator? Uh -huh. And they said they didn't want it? Now look. Oh, uh, they, they got it? It's oh. not on top of the refrigerator anymore. Fine. Good, I didn't want it. I think it was awful. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we've got new, uh, Vertical blinds up here. We just we put it in last night. What, what, baby? I picked them up. Yep, just last night. 
Maybe I'll put that in later. It kind of goes in weird. Or you can just let Jim worry about it. Jim is the renter that's moving in. And look, these are not bad. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit, you know, it's rough, but it's not too bad. It's a little bit dirty. It needs alcohol taken to it. But, He's um, dying. Yeah, but we can do that tomorrow. Because we got to get going now. But this looks beautiful. Beautiful fan. Beautiful room. I don't mean to make you sick with my... Before. Compared to before. Uh, the joints are very tight. The caulking is very nice. We just got the... Uh, we just got done with the uh, baseboards. We've got a nice semi-gloss on them. So this is clearly a white semi-gloss on all the casings and all the baseboards. Matched, sort of, with a white uh, um, satin wall. And then the ceilings are flat white. But it's not just white, it's, it's the classic Swiss coffee white. So it's Swiss coffee uh, casings and baseboards done in uh, semi-gloss with the satin walls and the uh, flat, oh, yeah, straighten that out, okay. And the flat uh, Swiss coffee ceiling. Now, the doors and the casings are all done in semi-gloss and the kitchen is done in semi-gloss. The bathrooms are done in semi-gloss. Completely. So, now as you can see, the stairs are awesome. Uh, this is an idea that I had when I saw some stone for the risers. I, I, we were thinking of just going with boards or uh, or a quarter inch sheetrock and then paint it white. No, we weren't going to go with sheetrock. We were going to go with something tougher so that if you kick it, it doesn't dent. Mm -hmm. We didn't know what to go with. But when I saw this rock, I thought, we got to do this. Uh, it took a great deal of wet saw cutting, a great deal of custom fitting, and then it all needed to be uh, match caulked with colored caulking. And so, as you can see in the garage, maybe you noticed we uh, had a lot of different colors and a lot of different equipment there that we were using. And check this out, nice. Look at that. This is the entry door. And this <laughs> is Jenny running up the stairs. There you go. Yep, it's very strong. Uh, the nose, the nose pieces, we routed them out about a quarter inch so that they were so that they were nice, 90 degrees. Stuck the nose piece in, glued it, and then tacked it with nails just on the side. I was worried that they weren't going to be strong enough, but when we got the appliances delivered and they used their carts, it didn't move. It didn't have any effect at all. So hopefully, that will be. Uh, it will last forever, hopefully. Here's the piece de resistance, the super wall, the, I don't know, you call it an accent wall, made out of stone. Now it was my idea to do the cornerstone. Um, I think a lot of people aren't gonna like how this turned out. I love how it turned out, because when I was living in a Remember place like- I did this part of the night here, like the little bit. Uh, it's 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 a little bit off and it come and it bulges out a little bit because maybe I used a little bit too much of that adhesive, okay, but maybe I don't know. I didn't really notice it until you just told show, me about it. And, show them this door, remember? Oh, that was one of the first thing I did is I had to replace that door because the seal was breached and it was foggy on the inside. So nothing I could do about it. I had to take it down to Kelly Glass and uh, and replace the whole thing. Didn't replace the frame, just just the glass. I think it was 400 bucks or something. I don't know. And uh, so anyway, this is the corner. I think a lot of people are gonna think that this doesn't look good because it just kind of goes from rock to wall or sheet rock or whatever you call it. But I don't know. I like it. I don't mind the way it turned out at all. If this moves aside, you can see that it went right. Oh. Pardon me. I can't understand you. Plant? They put green stuff near by the wall. It's going to look great. Trees, flowers. Oh, you mean if the renter puts... Right. Anyways, you can see I put it right up against the board here. And then had to custom cut this in. I should have done a 33 degree angle and then cut it in. Instead, I just did the blunt 90 degree and 
get a bunch of little cuts. It doesn't look awesome, but it doesn't look bad. It's a rental, you know? But yeah, if they put a big leafy palm or something in here, an indoor plant that reaches to the ceiling, that's what I have when I live in a place like this. And I think that uh, as long as you have a plant there, the corner kind of gives it a kind of a hugged feel. I like it. I think it looks great. And I think that some people would think that I should have just done the wall and then said, we're done. And then that's the way it looks. I think it turned out awesome. What do you think? Do you think we should have done the little wall or just the big one? You don't mind the little wall too? Jenny, Jenny actually did a lot of this work in a dress. For some reason, she won't wear not dresses. She's a dress girl. And ooh, and you did this under cabinet, which was a which was like a Halloween nightmare. And she cleaned it all up and tore all that horrible paper out. And she resealed the whole thing. And she did it all in a dress. Because she's crazy. There, that looks great, honey. Mm -hmm. Yep. Rubber sealed it and ready to go. All right. So, walls look great. Stove Lights look great. Oh, the stove isn't here because... Uh, the delivery company damaged it, so it's gonna show up on Friday. But it matches all the appliances, as you can see. They're great appliances. Dishwasher. Microwave. Refrigerator freezer. Looking good, looking good, looking good, good, good. Jenny did alcohol cloth cleaning on all the railways. These were untouchable when we first got this place. You did not want to touch them. They were diseased. We were actually at the point of thinking of ripping them out because they just seemed so infested. But now, they just cleaned right up. And Jenny did a great job on those. I believe you also did that in a dress, did you not? Good job. I know. This was a blunt angle. I had to cut the... I had to cut the uh, boards to the angles that you see here, and then I decided that the rock wasn't gonna be able to match it. It would be more easily done if I cut little two and a half and three inch pieces. Chick, 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 chick. Just kind of glued them into place. And the, you see that? Here, baby, go in there and point to the dark gray beneath oh, the nose right. piece, right. So what we did is, right, yeah, we, we got some stone paint some uh, um, Rust-Oleum stone paint to match. And the first thing we did after we cut those uh, nose pieces so that they were a blunt 90 degrees, we uh, sprayed all of those and used a few cans so that eventually it would look like a stone slab. That's supposed to be the illusion, is a stone slab sitting on top of stone rocks. And so we did that on all of the... <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> You're scaring me. You're scaring me. Anyway, so that's the illusion. As we go up the stairs, we have our transitional one and or four and one pieces how far here. Do this uh, stairs. See, I look great. Worker. Tomorrow guys. is a diet day. <laughs> I know. I've Got to go back on Atkins. Whew! How hard it was to do what? This. Yeah, rip them out the first time because of the Hardy backers. Oh, that was a nightmare. So here are the stairs. What do you think? Pretty nice. I can't really photograph that well. I think I'm shaking. Hopefully YouTube will take care of the shake. Is this Coco's phone? This is yours, right? My phone. Oh, okay. Mine? 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 She's a mine bird. All matching flooring. Let's start in the little rooms. Well, why don't we start here? Part of the $6,000 upgrade with a washer and dryer. Show them this cool dryer door, which has probably been around for years and years and I never noticed until we got these. I was like, this is pretty cool that it opens like a conventional dryer. Open like that. Ta-da! Or it's got the throw a sock in mode. There you go. Chicka, oh. yay! Nice, Just huh? pop it open, hinge and hinge. Pretty nice. Very clean. We got this scrubbed up. 
The people that delivered it told me to cut this thing six inches from the wall. And I said, are you sure? And they said, no, we're very sure it won't fit in. So I cut the drain hole six inches from the wall, screwed and glued it in, put it in there. And I'm like, dude, the pan hangs out. And they said, and I kid you not, oh, that's our fault. That's our fault. What's that even supposed to mean? That's our fault. So I'm going to, I called up the Costco and the delivery service and said, you guys, you now need to send a plumber out here, buy a new board or a new uh, tray, cut the hole, put it in again, because I was doing it perfectly before they came along and advised me to ruin it. We did it perfectly. Nice. Is it messy there? Nice. Here's the little room. We didn't replace this fan. And you can tell because it click, 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 clicks. That's kind of ugly. But it looks really good. The floor came in really decent. Some of the cuts aren't perfect. So we filled it in with some caulking. But that's because this is. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is the first. This is our novice. We could fix it if we really wanted to. We certainly have enough board to do it, but. It's the 31st, and we gotta get out of here, and we think it looks pretty good as is. Of course, this is another one of the new fans, which doesn't go clickety-clickety-click. I should have flush-mounted it. I shouldn't have done that four-inch thing. I mean, it's already pretty low, you know? I can't, I don't know. I'm not gonna do anything about it now. It takes too much time. Just turn off the lights, go into the master bedroom, then we're done. Can you turn off the light, honey? Okay. Okay. I'm going to take a picture of the video and Jim move out and then we can run them out and see these pictures. Ooh. This fan was already here is and it works fine. Is your favorite room? How come it's not going? This is the view room. We just got these up today. We got the uh, blinds up just today. It's hard. It wasn't that hard. It Long just... Life. Now the last one was a little off, but now we got it really fixed well. So as you can see, it's the same wonderful view. This time with our Venetian horizontal blinds. We got the blind headers on there and they're brand new. It looks really good. It doesn't what? Sometimes you pinch in the house, you smell bad, yeah. like chemical. It's not too bad. Great view. Real good. Nice and quiet back here, no traffic. Yeah. We got the light repaired. Didn't take too long. Painted and Closet. cleaned and... Yeah. yeah, bathroom's clean. Floor's scrubbed. Closet's done. Last time, I believe there was carpet in here when I did the Midway video. Everything's clean. Yeah, those shelves look pretty good. Okay, that's it. Our housing adventure. Anything you want to say, honey? What? What are you doing? Swinging her arms. Enjoy. That is finally done. Don't need to come here anymore. Oh my gosh. We're spending so much time at the fun house in Southern Highlands. It's like, I want to go home. But home is too far away from this house. Well, hopefully we'll come here once a year just to see if it hasn't burned down yet. Drop the lights. Let's get out of here, okay? I'm going to take a picture and then we're going to use this picture. Right okay. The okay, then, I'll, then we're done. We've seen the whole house. Mm. <laughs> Coco help too. Coco. <laughs> Kisses. 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 Hey! Kisses. Hmm. She doesn't want to kiss me. What's wrong? <laughs> okay. And that's it. We're done. Off to our next house. Off to our next buy. Are we gonna buy another house? Or are we done with this garbage now? Buy another one. <laughs> ah, she wants to buy another one. She wants to buy the one next door. 
She wants to buy all of the houses. Too bad, and then buy the house across the street. It's already sold. Yeah. No, it doesn't have a view though. These ones are the ones with the view. Anyway, Barbie house finally done. Halloween 2016. Say bye bye. Bye bye.